Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my monthly unboxing for my Sephora box. Alright guys, so today I'm unboxing my Sephora box for October. I've got my co-host Alex. Hey, bro. Hey. He is my boy -o. <laughs> Not amused. And so I'm going to unbox October's box and then I'll talk about September's box products and see what I thought of last month's products. So let's take a look inside. Ooh, what's the theme? What's the theme? Complexion Companions. So I got my play card right on top. It has 50 extra beauty insider points on it when I make a purchase before November 30th. And we have the informational for October's products. Check it out. Complexion Companions. I'm excited check out the little bag for this month. It has a bunch of different chicks on it that say public display of complexion. <laughs> Instead of affection, get it? So let's check it out. My mom said she liked what she got, so she already opened hers. What is the first thing I have? Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. I wonder if this is good for sensitive skin. So here's the little sample. I am going to try it out, but I'm going to try it out mildly because anything that's like exfoliant or anything like that makes me nervous just because my skin is so sensitive. But most of the products I've been okay with using here as long as I don't use like exfoliants on my sensitive, like which is my cheeks. Like I don't really exfoliate my cheeks. They do not like being exfoliated. Next I have, ooh, this looks like a Tarte product. It is Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist super cute little bottle that it comes in but I don't know what she does I'm pretty sure it's something for hair okay bye Alex um, I'm gonna look in here real quick and see what exactly it is for hold eight inches from your face and spray oh so it's a it's a setting spray it didn't say setting spray on here it said marine boosting mist so it is a setting spray does it have like solid or like what this multifunctional spray contains antioxidant marine ingredients that protect, moisturize, and refresh your skin for an anytime pick-me-up, whether it's worn over or under makeup. A four-in-one primer, setting spray, hydrating mist, and skin refresher, perfect for all skin types. So I guess I'll try it, do do everything with it. I'll try it before makeup, after makeup, during the day when I think I need like a little uh, moisturizer, which doesn't hurt when you're wearing a full face of makeup all day, so cool. Next I have a makeup forever oh this is the ultra hd skin booster serum let's read about that too oh okay this is a skin perfecting serum that plumps smooths and hydrates your skin for flawless makeup application i would love that because my highlighter picks up like my little bumps all along my face and i would love to have something that like, smooths out my skin that's not cloggy and this is like a serum so it's liquidy how to use apply a thin layer of serum all over skin directly before makeup application or add a few drops to your primer or foundation so that seems cool. I'll go ahead and try this as well. Never tried something like this before. And next I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is the foundation. And what shade is this? I'm not sure. Oh, this is Y245. I'll have to check which one I have. I think I have R. I have red um, because I have red skin undertone. So I don't know how well this would match with me. But I'm going to use it up and try it out because honestly my skin looks different on camera than it does like the makeup on my face looks better on camera than in real life so, like this i'm actually wearing the rihanna fenty foundation and i'm wearing color 210 right now 230 was too dark for me it oxidized on my face and i feel like 210 is a little too dark for me too and it oxidized on my face but it looks fine in the camera because of the lighting but when you see me in real light it's a little bit too dark for my complexion i think so i'm gonna try like 190 like i'm gonna keep going until i find like the shade that's right for me maybe maybe it's just my skin type and it just oxidizes not well on my skin so this is the smelly and this is introducing bell azure by tori birch and that's what the bottle looks like pretty let's smell it y'all know i ain't picky about smells mm, oh my gosh as long as i don't smell like a dude i usually don't like i usually like it like i don't mind i'm not picky when it comes to smells this cap was supposed to be on this but it fell off and last in my box ooh, i got urban decay optical illusion complexion primer smoothing rose hip and argan oil for pore perfecting Okay, so it is a primer. I am down to try it. 
Right now my favorite primer is the Hourglass Primer. That is what I've been using except for right now I have the Fenty Primer by Rihanna. I use the primer and the foundation to try to come up with a good combo for that. But yep, this is a primer, so cool. And it looks like the, the here I'll show you guys. Looks like the formula might not be too thick. I definitely don't like thicker primers, so we'll have to check it out. Cool, excited to try out all these products and see if I find any new favorites. But let's talk about last month. I do have the little pamphlet here to talk quickly about each product that I got. So I did get the Gimme Brow. I, I bought this myself from one of your guys' requests, so I already knew I loved it, and it came in my color. So super excited, and already knew I loved that. This is the Stilla. Uh, liquid eyeliner my favorite it's what I'm wearing right now it came it was like smoother and blacker than the Kat Von Du tattoo liner which is what I loved before but now this is my favorite liquid eyeliner right now it's this one I love it I just love the way it glides on like straight no ugh, it's just it's perfect and then this is a hair mask that you wear at night and I liked it I only used it a couple times because I forgot because you can wear it for 10 to 15 minutes but for full effect you can wear it overnight and I really felt like it did help my hair feel soft and nice for a couple days my hair is just so damaged I'm actually planning on cutting a lot of it off in the new year um, let's see what next the I love lip I'm not picky with lip color I do prefer liquid lips over the lipsticks but that's okay I still love the color this is a little bit of a heavier moisturizer than what I prefer. I do have my favorite, which is the Peter Thomas Roth Cloud Cream. I think that's what it's called. That's a really light, really light formula. But it's still this still works for like good moisturizer. It's just I prefer a, a like a thinner, lightweight formula and then of course the smell good smelled good to me so that's what i thought of september's box make sure to check back in november to see what november brings me and to see what i think about the products that i just unboxed here today let's see which one am i most excited to try honestly i think i'm most excited to try the primer because i could always you know i'm always down to try a new primer and see which primer is gonna make my skin like the most flawless like for when i put my makeup on i do like the hourglass primer but like i mentioned it doesn't like it's really thin it's a really like light formula so it doesn't I don't feel like smooths out my face it might help with like keeping the makeup out of my pores but I don't feel like it smooths my face and that one claims to smooth so that's why I want to try it but that's what I got let me know down in the comments below if you have a Sephora box what you got let's talk about makeup I love it give me your suggestions what's your favorite liquid eyeliner have you tried that Stila because it is beautiful. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.